Welcome to today's session. My name is Sunday Ojengen. I will be looking at ERGRP Administrative Distance and Facebook Distance. ERGRP is an Enterprise Routing Protocol which stands for Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Now, before we move ahead, I must make it clearly that ERGRP is a Cisco proprietary protocol. What I mean by Cisco proprietary is it is owned by Cisco and not an industrialized routing protocol. For every ERGRP network, two routers play a key role in determining the best path and a backup path. Now, ERGRP is the only routing protocol that has a backup path or a backup route to its destination. Now, for the main, for the router, having the, having the best route to the destination is called successor. And feasible successor is the backup route to the destination. It is important to note that successor and feasible successor are actually being chosen by some key factors known as administrative distance and feasible distance. Now, let's take a look at the diagram we have here. But before then, I would like to define what administrative distance and feasible distance mean. Administrative distance, you can say, is the distance advertised to a router from another router for a particular destination. Now, taking, for instance, looking at the diagram we have here, when we say a distance advertised to a router, router B can be advertising to router E with a distance of 10 to router A. That is what administrative distance means in simplicity. Now, for a feasible distance, it means the best calculated distance of a router to a particular destination based on the AD of the neighbor and the cost of it link to that neighbor. Now, what am I trying to say? Assuming we want to reach router A from router E, what are the best paths we can take? Now, we have to put into consideration that we can either take this path through this path or this path, through this path, or this path, towards this path. But it's very obvious that we can't use all the paths. We must get the best route towards router A. Now, how do we determine the best route or the best path towards router A? That is where we calculate the cost or the path cost through these routers. Now, from router... Let's, let, okay, let me write down. From E, B, to A, when you calculate, we have about 30. Okay, let me make it this way. We have 20 plus 10, which is equal to 30. From E, C, and A, we have 10 plus 10, which is equal to 20. On E, D, and A, we have 20 plus 25 which is equal to 45. Now, based on cost, of course, it is very obvious that we're going to be using router E through C to A, which is this. This would be the best path towards reaching network X. Now, if this is chosen as the best path, and of course, the successor will be router C, because router C has the best path towards network X, how do we determine the feasible successor? This is where we have to look at the role of feasible distance and administrative distance. Now, we have to look from the diagram again, what is the administrative distance of router B, router C, and router D to network X. For B, we have 10. For C, we have 10 also. And for D, we have what? We have 25. Now, what is the rule? Okay. Let me say this before we continue to, uh, in selection of our feasible successor. There is a rule, and the rule states that for a router to be considered a feasible successor, the administrative distance of that router must be less, sometimes you know, it's always very difficult to write and talk, must be less than the feasible distance of the successor. Now, for us to choose a feasible successor from this diagram, the administrative distance must be less than the feasible successor. Now, from the diagram here, we understand that the feasible distance of the successor is 10 plus 10 equals to 20, which is this 10 and this 10. 
Now, the administrative distance must be less than 20 for it to be considered a what? A feasible successor. Now, we can see we have 10 here, we have 10 also here, and we have 25 here. So, since this has already been taken based on the best part, it means that router B towards A is going to be chosen as the feasible successor. Why? Because the AD is actually less than the feasible distance of the successor. I hope this video has been informative and thank you for watching.